Hi friends, welcome back to yet another session of English. Today I am going to teach you an interesting story, a snake in the grass written by R.K. Narayan. Before we proceed towards the story, let me tell you a few things about R.K. Narayan and his life. Rasipuram Krishna Swami Ayer Narayana Swami, very commonly known as R.K. Narayan, was an Indian writer known for his work set in the fictional South Indian town of Malgudi. R.K. Narayan, he was born on 10th October 1906 in Madras, which is now known as Chennai. He was from an ordinary middle class family. His father was a headmaster and his mother was a housewife. At the age of two, Narayan was sent to his maternal grandmother's house to live there. R.K. Narayan's grandmother gave him basic education at home. She taught him Sanskrit, classical music, arithmetic and many more things. R.K. Narayan completed his schooling from that village itself and later on he joined Maharaja's college in Mysore to complete his education. He completed his graduation and post-graduation from there. By this time he became an avid reader and developed a lot interest towards English. He later on took up the job of an English teacher and he got married to Rajam in 1934. In 1939, Rajam passed away because of typhoid. During this time, he was in little depression and one day when he had some argument with his headmaster at school, he decided to quit the job as an English teacher. And another fine day, he decided and he declared that he is going to become a writer. And he started penning down something. And at that moment itself, the place named Malgudi came into existence in his mind. He wrote many books and novels and short stories. His most famous books and novels are Malgudi Days, The Man Eater of Malgudi, Swami and Friends, the English teacher, the financial expert, and my days, which he wrote in 1975. R.K. Narayan won many honors and awards. The major award which he received was in 1958, the Sahitya Academy Award for his novel, The Guide. This novel was later made into a Hindi film and that film won the Filmfare Award for Best Story. R.K. Narayan also received Padma Bhushan, Padma Vibhushan, A.C. Benson Medal and many other honorary degrees and awards. He was nominated for a Nobel Prize in Literature many times but he never had the honor to have won. Around 60 years of literary career came to an end on 13th May 2001. So children, that was all about R.K. Narayan and his life. Now we often see that uh, R.K. Narayan, whatever he wrote as novels or stories, he usually depicted the Indian culture, Indian society in those books, uh, stories and novels. So the story which we are going to read, A Snake in the Grass, is also a typical example of such type of writing where little humor is there, anecdotes are there and little irony is also included in that. So this is the picture of nature. You can see many birds, plants, animals, insects, so many things are there, isn't it? So whenever we look around us, we see beautiful nature and most of us, we enjoy the nature. 
children you may remember the lesson which we read in our last class sixth standard bashir's story waikam mohammad bashir's story the rightful inheritors of the earth in which he very nicely mentions that all these birds animals insects whatever is there in the nature has the right like human being to use all the things available on this earth but what we human being think we think that we are superior to them but it is nowhere like that each and every one has the same place on this earth let us begin the story a snake in the grass written by r k narayan i am going to read the story loudly clearly with correct tone and stress you have to listen carefully and when you are practicing you have to also try to read like that it was a sunny afternoon the inmates of the bungalow were at their siesta a cyclist rang his bell at the gate frantically and shouted a big cobra has got into your compound it crossed my wheel he pointed to its track under the gate and resumed his journey the family consisted of the mother and her four sons they were greatly agitated to hear the news soon they assembled at the gate their old servant dasa was sleeping in the shed they shook him out of his sleep and told him about the arrival of the cobra there isn't any cobra here he replied and tried to dismiss the matter they saw at him and wanted him to be serious the thing is somewhere here if it is not found before the evening we will dismiss you you don't seem to care for the garden some neighbors dropped in they looked accusingly at dasa you have the laziest servant on earth they said you ought to keep the surrounding tidy i have been asking for a grass cutter for months dasa said in one voice they ordered him to manage with the available things and learn not to make demands meanwhile more neighbors assembled they began discussing snake menace and the dangers of snake bite they began helping the neighbor in every possible way they tugged up their dhotis seized every available knife and crowbar and began to hack the garden creepers bushes and lawns were laid low what could not be trimmed was cut to the root the inner walls of the house brightened with unobstructed glare streaking in when there was nothing more to be done dasa asked triumphantly where is the snake so children though this story you can see it is a long story we are going to divide the story into two parts and half we will discuss today and the rest we will discuss in our next session so let us come back to the first paragraph now you have to identify the reference to time location and the characters in the story can you tell me yes so the time is it was sunny afternoon and the inmates of the bungalow were at their siesta siesta means a small sleep a nap which we take during afternoon so the time is afternoon and the location is bungalow and the road in front of bungalow and the characters of the story mother his four sons cyclist and their servant dasa so a cyclist rang his bell at the gate frantically and shouted 
a big cobra has got into your compound it crossed my wheel so in a very loud voice cyclist uh, said to these people that a cobra has entered into your compound and see what will happen children when somebody tells us that a, a snake has entered or a cobra has entered in our compound naturally we will be scared isn't it even if we may not have seen that thing inside our compound then also if somebody says that it might be there at that time also a uh, feeling of fear enters into our mind so uh, as soon as the family member came to know about the cobra's entrance in their compound they were also frightened they were also scared so the cyclist he pointed its track under the gate and resumed his journey cyclist only said that much and he continued his journey resumed his journey means he continued his journey the family consisted of the mother and her four sons they were greatly agitated to hear the news soon they assembled at the gate so in that bungalow who lived mother and her four sons and when they came to know about the cobra they were very much feared they became very nervous about that their old servant dasa was sleeping in the shed they shook him out of his sleep and told him about the arrival of the cobra so one more character is there which is that character their servant dasa and dasa was resting at that time he was sleeping and these people they went to dasa and told him that a snake has entered the compound there isn't any cobra here he replied he tried to dismiss the matter they saw at him and wanted him to be serious now dasa though he was disturbed from his sleep he was just like he didn't want to come out from his resting time or the resting place and he just tried to dismiss the matter by saying that no there is nothing here so these people the family members they scolded him and they asked him to be serious about the matter the thing is somewhere here if it is not found before the evening we will dismiss you we will dismiss you means we will be sending you away from this uh, house your services will be no more required here you don't seem to care for the garden and what these people were blaming dasa for that he is not taking care of the garden and that's why all these creepy creatures are entering into the garden some neighbors dropped in they looked accusingly at dasa you have the laziest servant on earth they said and see children in our indian society or in our indian lifestyle usually what happens if any of the family is in trouble or anything happens to the family first the neighborhood people the people around our house or the people uh, in our neighborhood they all start gathering in our house to help us isn't it you all might have also felt that so when they came to know about this snake they all gathered there to help this family members in the bungalow and they started blaming dasa and they started saying something and they told these family members that you have the laziest servant on this earth you ought to keep the surroundings tidy i have been asking for a grass cutter for months dasa said so uh, all were saying blaming and the family members were saying dasa that you have to keep the surroundings clean at that time what was dasa's excuse he said that he had been asking for grass cutter or the mower for months but these people they are not buying him one in one voice they ordered him to manage with the available things and learn not to make demands so the family members together they told to dasa that whatever is available in this house you have to maintain the garden using those things meanwhile more neighbors assembled assembled means gathered they began discussing snake menace and the dangers of snake bite you might have heard about the word menace no 
in our Bashir's lesson, the rightful inheritors of the earth, there was also some menace. What was that? There was some problem. So menace means problem. What problem was there? The problem of bats. And here, what is the problem? The problem of snake. So they started discussing about the snake and the dangers of snake bite. They began helping the neighbor in every possible way. And they all gathered there to help the family members by doing whatever they could do at that time to find the snake. They tugged up their dhotis, seized every available knife and crowbar and began to hack the garden. So they all got ready by tucking up their dhotis and whichever thing, tools they got, taking that in hand, they started searching for the snake in the grass. Creepers, bushes and lawns were laid low. So whatever were, were there in the garden, small trees, plants or creepers. Creepers you know, no? the plants which climb with the help of something else. No? Climbs up, it creeps up. So uh, whatever were there, everything was laid low. What could not be trimmed was cut to the root. So even the smallest plant or the grass, everything was cut to the root level. The inner walls of the house brightened with unobstructed glare streaking in. So when we clean our surroundings, like if uh, in outside our house, if we have so many plants and trees, and if we trim some of the branches or uh, its parts at that time what we can realize the inner part of the house looks little brightened up so the same thing happened there also garden was completely clean nothing was there in the garden and the inner walls of the house were looking so bright when there was nothing more to be done dasa asked triumphantly triumphantly means in a victorious voice in a way that he has won something so when there was nothing more to be done, Dasa asked triumphantly, where is the snake? Now, Dasa wants to know and even we will find out where is the snake in our next session. Okay, so I'm going to give you a small assignment before we meet in our next session. What you have to do children is you have to read the lesson at least twice with correct pronunciation, stress and tone as well as a small work which with the help of dictionary you have to do. You have to find out the meanings of the words given below. You can note down these words and use the dictionary and find the meanings and write it in your notebook. Siesta, agitated, menace, and accusingly. I hope you all understood this much part of the story and we will find out what is going to happen to Dasa and whether he is going to find the snake in the next session of English class. Thank you. Take care. Bye.